Hello, it's Markham Matorch here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be ringing up a leg so that we've got the IK bone, so we have a foot bone that we can control the whole leg with. So at the moment, we've got the upper leg, the lower leg, and the foot, and also the hip. So I'm going to start off with by going into edit mode. I'm going to press numpad 3 to go into side view. Let's select the joint. I'm going to press E to extrude and directly on the Y axis. Now let's come over here into the bone properties, expand relations and the parent. We're going to delete that parent, select the bone GY. And to make our life easier, we're just going to call this knee dot L. The next thing we're going to come down to the bottom here and I'm going to extrude here along the Y axis and we're going to disconnect that from the shin parent. And let's just go G Y just to move it off to the side and we'll call this foot.l.ik and we're going to do it one more time i'm going to select joint here e to extrude y along the y-axis and we'll disconnect that and let's bring that down to about here-ish and we'll re rename that to foot.l.control now we're going to come down and do some parenting so we're going to select our knee and the parent's going to be the foot L I K and the foot L I K will be parented to the foot L control. And we've left both of them unconnected. We will as well, the foot here, we will parent that no longer to the shin, but to the foot control as well. From here, we go up into pose mode. And what we're going to do is come down into the bone constraints, add bone constraint, copy location, and let's select our armature. And what it will be, it will be the shin, and it comes all the way to the top here. So what we've got to do is change it from head to tail. Now we're back down here. From here, we select our shin bone. I'm going to press space to search or F3 to search, or if you're on a laptop, Fn F3 to search. And I'm going to type in IK, add IK to bone to new empty object. And the empty object will get rid of that. We'll select our meta rig. And then our bone will be the foot IK L. And then the pole target, we will select the rig again. And this one will be our left knee. So you can see that it looks a little bit rough. So let's put this to 90 degrees and I'm going to change the chain length to two. Now we can see that it's going backwards, kind of like an independence day alien type configuration. So if I were to move this, we can see it's moving. However, this is obviously bending the wrong way. So rather than 90 degrees, let's go minus 90 degrees. And now if we have a look, we can see that we are controlling the whole leg with one bone. If you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It helps you keep up to date with my content. If you have any other requests, please make sure you leave a comment below. And until next time.